Hello all. Welcome to part 20 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about partial groups in TestNG. Partial groups are nothing but declaring the groups at the class level. So let me show you guys. So partial groups. If you are grouping the tests at the class level, that is called as partial groups. Okay, if you are grouping the tests at class level instead of the test method level. Okay, generally the test methods have at the rate test annotation instead of grouping them at the at the rate test annotation test level method test method level. If you are grouping all the tests inside the class into a group at the class level that is known as partial groups. Okay. So what we have to do to create the partial groups and all I'll show you one example guys. Okay, this is what is one of the example groups is equal to all that you are providing this particular declaration you are going to add before the class in the automation script here. If you go to this Eclipse ID guys, if you go to one of the class say login or register, whatever it is. Okay, let's go to register. Otherwise if you go to register guys. You see in each and every editor test you have all group. This is one of the group category, right? Groups is equal to all is there. Second test is also having all. Third test is also having all as a group. Okay. It's grouping the test into all categories somehow. So all the tests inside this class have the all. So what I will do here is instead of using this all at the test method level, having at the rate test annotation, I'll remove all this stuff from here, remove all from here, and group all these tests at a class level. How to do that here? Before the class declaration, instead of before the test method level, before the class declaration here, I'll say at the rate test, okay, provide circular brackets and say groups is equal to groups is equal to in the curly braces you can provide if you want and provide double quotes and say all. That's it. I don't have to provide all for each and every test here. There are four tests inside this register class. Okay, instead of providing all for each and every test, I can just move it to the upper level like this. And these called as partial groups, guys. Okay. If you're declaring the groups or specifying the group for a particular uh, class level uh, class test at the class level, okay. For all the tests inside the class, if you are declaring the groups at the class level, that is called as partial groups, guys. Now you see here this part will work. Okay, how this belongs to the register and provided the partial group known as all at the class level. I'll go to the testng.xml file still it's going to work guys. So what I'm going to do here is uh, here I'll write the group here. Groups. Okay. At the test tag level I'll say groups and say run. Here still I can provide a uh, include and still I say and provide include uh, name is equal to all I can say. Okay still I can say that. I don't have to mention all it test uh, test method levels rather I provided this all group at the class level which is known as partial groups. I can provide the partial groups like this the same format that I have done for the normal groups. Okay now save this all the tests inside the register because all the tests will have all tags so they will be running guys. Uh, four tests inside the register will run and remaining all will run as usual for the remaining I'll do one thing I'll just uh, groups just to have a small difference for the remaining I'll say. I'll not use a partial groups here. I'll use a normal groups. Okay, include name is equal to smoke. I'll say here So only smoke test will run only two tests will run from login. All the tests will run from register and similarly I'll copy paste this one and uh, paste it here in the third test also. Okay, and save this done. Now run this SNG XML file SNG suit. From register all the tests will run. You see all the tests will run because we have included all groups. Okay, and which is a partial group in this case of register class at the class level. We have uh, decided the group of all for all the tests inside the register class and from login. We have the smoke test and from search we got one smoke test. So hope guys you understood how to create uh, how to use partial groups in test engine and how to uh, declare this uh, partial groups at uh, class level instead of declaring them for each and every test method inside a class. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test engine topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.